Check atomizer. No atomizer. What the heck? Hi everybody, in today's video we are going to talk about how to diagnose check atomizer messages, short atomizer messages, I've even seen no atomizer and low atomizer messages. So when you get one of these messages, it's a big problem because you're pushing the button on your battery and trying to get a rip and guess what? It's not working. So in this video, we're going to run through the most comprehensive diagnosis online of how you will be able to troubleshoot and isolate whatever the issue is to get you back vaping. Now, before we jump into this video, we have just launched our vapehoneystick.com rebrand website. So we have updated it to make sure that we're offering the most optimal user experience for our online shoppers and loyal YouTube channel supporters. So make sure to check it out if you're interested in any of our cool products. Now, check atomizer, short atomizer. It can only be one of two things. It can either be a problem with your battery, which is the mod, or it's gonna be a problem with your atomizer. So you knew you could drill it down to two. Now, it's super easy if you have a spare mod battery, which will help you in troubleshooting to see which one it is because you simply take your tank off of the battery that's giving you the check atomizer signal and you place it onto your other battery. And if it fires up, then you know that the issue is in here with the battery. So we know that our tank is running all right and it's a mod battery. But let's say you don't have one. We're still gonna run you through the battery diagnosis checklist first because it is actually a little bit more simple than the tank. Like any high dollar computer guy, I'm gonna let you know the very first thing you wanna do before you jump into diagnosing your battery. Restart your battery, like restart your computer. It can solve a lot of problems. Sometimes there's programming things in there and one of the microchips is just not given the right signal through and it's giving you an error message. So you can restart it by clicking it five times to power off, one, two, three, four, five, and then the system turns off. And then you can go one, two, three, four, five, and the system will reset. Now, if you have a mod battery, which doesn't have an internal battery built in, but actually has 18650s or any other external battery, what I recommend is turning it off and doing what's a hard reset, like in those old cell phones, where you actually remove the battery connector because that does a hard reset on the system. So it's actually remove the batteries and then place them back in after a few seconds. And this will give you a hard reset. So if you've done this, and you're still getting the check atomizer signal, I'm gonna tell you something that a lot of the other guys won't really start getting this technical because as they apply to concentrates vaporizers more than e-juice. So if you're running concentrates tanks, you deal with dabs and oils, it sometimes gets messy. It's very common practice for there to be residue that actually comes down into the battery connection area. And this can be a connection problem. So the next step that we want to do in diagnosing our battery to see if that's where the issue is of what we can do to resolve it is I say clean up your connection area because a lot of the dabbers, a lot of the oil guys, it will actually have some gunk in there creating a connection problem giving you that trouble signal. So what I tell people to do is to use a Q-tip dipped in isopropyl alcohol. These are actually really cool. We have them with our plasma GQ unit. They're actually charged with isopropyl, so you take out the Q-tip, you break it, and then you swab clean until it looks like brand new metal in there, like this one. Swab that area nice and clean, make sure that it's looking brand new, and then try it again and see if it works. So start up your mod, try to fire that atomizer, see if it works. Now if it's still not firing, I like to get a little small flathead screwdriver. 
Usually then the issue is, is you have a spring pin issue. This little spring pin here is what makes the battery connection to your atomizer. It's the main connection. So if that's not making a contact with the respective contact area on the tank, you're going to get that error signal. So sometimes you can just go and that'll be stuck down, either whether it's a spring issue or whether you got residues in there. So I like to just go in there and sometimes gently just give it a little pry or make sure that it's, it's on there solid. Sometimes these, these dab tanks and even, you know, some RDA tanks, this connection area is adjustable in terms of the, the, the depth that it goes down. Sometimes if you just make a slight adjustment on the tank to make sure they're connecting, that will most likely be as if the problem is with your battery, that that is a connection problem in that area. And then that should resolve the issue. Now, if you've tried these things and still haven't resolved your issues, and your 18650 internal batteries, your internal battery components are still working, so they're taking a charge, then the problem is with your battery, and it is going to be an internal problem that you are most likely going to have to contact the manufacturer and try to get a warranty claim or get that mod battery unit replaced. So that is the way to diagnose it if you've isolated that it's a battery. And if you haven't, that's a good way to rule out your battery is to make sure that all those checkpoints check out. So let's say you're still getting that signal after you've done all these things. The next issue, it could be with your tank. Now, most of the time, the issue is, if it was a connector, we walk through possibly adjusting the little connection area. And also, if that area is covered in oil, then, or wax or concentrates, you wanna make sure that the connection area is nice and clean. One of the very common issues that we get to customer service is actually when you go to the coil, and this is our extreme honey stick wax tank, is that the actual coil is not fully tightened into the base, causing a connection issue. So many times, if you just make sure that this connection is nice and tight, not too tight, but a good hand tight, and then you reconnect it over to your battery, that then your tank can work. As you can see, now it's making a connection. Now, if that doesn't work, our next step would be to make sure that the connection area within the tank is clean. So you want to do a full tank cleaning. Now, I have a video here on the channel that says how to properly clean your vape tank. And basically what that is is taking it all in, uh, apart into all of its components to as many components as it breaks apart as this one, this extreme tank. We're good if we break it apart into these four pieces. I fill up a little Dixie cup with isopropyl alcohol and I give it an isopropyl bath, leave it overnight, take it out, dry it off, clean it, make sure that that tank is looking brand spanking new. And then I reassemble it and I give it a try to see if that fixes my issue of check atomizer. Now, if that doesn't fix the issue, then I know, and it is a sad day for me because that means it's gonna cost a little bit of money, that my coil is burnt out. So what I need to do is I need to get on the web or go into my goodie box and get a new coil and install it into my tank base and then I know that my tank should work. Now, I know that we don't want it to be that new coil because those coils do cost a little bit of money, but generally, if you replace that coil when you get any one of those messages, it will do the trick. So a lot of vapors, a lot of concentrates guys, as soon as they get that message and they see that their tank is you know, somewhat clean and they know their mod battery's on point to where they've tested other atomizers on it, I mean, they usually just jump straight to that step of switching out that coil, and if that doesn't work, then they work backwards to save some time. But in this video, we wanted to be a little bit more thorough to show you guys all the checkpoints that could affect the concentrates vapors when dealing with any one of these signals like check atomizer, atomizer short, no atomizer, or atomizer low. 
These are common signals that we get. They give us some headaches, they prevent us from vaping. But if you follow all the steps in this video, you should be able to properly diagnose it as well as fix the problem. Now, if none of these things worked, and this is extremely, extremely rare, but we have encountered it once or twice a year, sometimes if you've isolated it to your tank, there's an issue that is actually in the base of the tank to where the base of the tank is not making a connection or there's something wrong. Some of these, these tanks have a little bit of electronic matter in there to allow you to make a connection to let the electricity pass through to vaporize, that there could be a contact issue in there which would actually involve splitting the tank apart here in the seams, which is really outside of the technical range of most of the YouTube viewers. And honestly, in that case, it's a warranty thing for the, the, the manufacturer of whoever made the tank because that's really a lifetime solid metal piece that should not have any issues unless if you run it over a bulldozer and for you construction guys, I don't have any answers. So, hope that this video was helpful. Make sure to subscribe to this channel, like this video if it was helpful. We got several other great vape tips and tricks on how to clean your tank and how to maintain and get the best vaping experience. Check out our website, www.vapehoneystick.com. Make sure to follow us on Instagram at Vape Honey Stick, as well as official Vape Honey Stick. Like us on Facebook for special promos. Use my special code on vapehoneystick.com, honey420, for 20% off this and several other cool items like this extreme tank. Thank you so much for tuning in. And even when the messages turn your smile upside down, make sure that you're vaping responsibly. And just know that these are only temporary. Thanks for tuning in.